Welcome back inside the Dignity Health Studios inside the Bakersfield, California. And on the third floor, I'm Ryan Holt. It says so right on the screen right there. Yeah, but there. it says it under me. Yeah, that's fine. You, you wish you were That's me, me Kevin yeah, Bartle. That's, that's Kevin Bartle. We're eating Mount Mike's Pizza. It's off camera, but it's great. There it is. Mount Mike's. You should show them the pizza. It's unbelievable. The Meat Lover's Pizza yeah. is delicious. There's one left. I think I have to fight Curry Can we go that it. camera? Can we switch cameras? Come on, Chris. Are we on? Are we on? Whoop. Stop paying attention over there. Whoop. Pizza and curry. How about that? All in one shot. Great framing. All right. Uh, the uh, two locations, California and Stockdale, right at the intersection there, and then Stein and New Harris, or New Stein and Harris. Yeah, that's all right. I'll get, my, I'll get my geography down here at Bakersfield eventually. I mean, it's tough. It's Everything, been, everything's built on a grid, right? It's been four what, years. Why can't we build a circle? Can we get four people years. on this? Can we build a circle around, you know, like major highways circle? You get off. Did you know half of Boston is landfill? Yeah. Should we is. just start filling in? Would yeah. that make you feel better? It is. But it's circular. You're inside circles. Washington, D.C., circular. No, Bakersfield. Washington, D.C. Across. is not circular. Yeah, the Beltway. No. It's a belt. It's a belt, Bartle. Let's get moving. Pull it together, Rochester. All right. Connor Centerman, Josh Curry joining us here. Josh, thanks for coming on. And, uh, a big week in Boise for the guys. Uh, the, the team wasn't happy with the way the, the team played on Friday night, but but you guys took it upon yourselves to come out with a better effort Saturday. And it, uh, I think it definitely showed a little more physical the uh, Condors team. Yeah, I think for sure. I mean, I mean Friday we, we thought we could have won that game, like JF said. I mean, it got away from us in the shootout, but that's just sort of a skills competition. Then on Friday, I mean, that was a, a poor performance on our part. I mean, we, we sort of came back, but we left it a little too late. And then we just sort of took it upon ourselves. You know, we needed to, we needed to beat these guys. You know, they're the first place in the, in the Western Conference. So we just, we know, stuck, uh, dug deep, played a good full 60 minutes, and I mean, it showed, I mean, 5-1 victory. I thought that was probably one of our most dominating wins of the season, for sure. You know, going back to Friday, it's it's impossible to play on your game for 72 straight games. You guys feel it, like, when, like, you're just a little off, like, things just aren't working, things aren't clicking for whatever reason. What does that feel like? Yeah, I mean, there's, there's going to be games where it's just, you're not there, you may not have your lags, you know, your hands may not be in it, but... You just when you when you feel those games, you just got to keep it simple. I mean, it can't be too fancy. You know, you just got to get pucks in, pucks out, and, and that's all you can do. And I think we sort of got away from that. We tried to play a little too fancy when you know we just weren't there mentally as sharp. So we just got to keep it simple. But you know, like you said, you can't play 72 games perfect. And that was one of the games where just we just weren't there, and we were uh, good lucky enough to uh, rebound on uh, Saturday. For the majority of the last uh, three weeks uh, since Brendan Brooks has arrived, you've been aligned with with him and Chase Shaber, and uh, I think you've all done you know, something right on that line that's made that line click here. And uh, Shaver put the pucks in the back of the net, whether it's you assisting, Brooks with his speed. It just seems like that line has nice little chemistry right now. Yeah, no, we, we've, uh, we, we like playing with each other. I feel like we got a lot of speed, which is, you know, sort of backs off the other team's uh, defense, which is huge. But we'd obviously like to be contributing a little more on the offense. I feel like we're getting lots of chances. We're just not sort of finishing. So we'd like to contribute a little more offensively. But I think, you know, we, we click well. We have a lot of speed. And, you know, that's a, that's a big threat for teams. I think you're just softening them up, and then the Jones line is coming in. <laughs> yeah, they're just sweeping it up. And yeah, they're, they're you're like you're like the penalties, yeah, and then they're no. taking the power. That was play. us. That, you're <laughs> welcome. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, we, we talked about it with JF a little bit. Yourself do, does a lot of little things right for this team, especially killing penalties. This team's penalty kill has gotten significantly better here over the last couple of weeks. Do you take pride in that aspect of the game and trying to swing some momentum from being shorthanded? Yeah, I mean. You know, not everyone's going to be a top six guy. There's only six, you know, forwards on a team that can be your top six. Are going to be your offensive guys. You need, you need other guys to step up and be more of a defensive, you know, more responsible in their own end and, and kill penalties. And I think killing penalties is huge. It's it's a way for you to definitely gener generate momentum. And I think that our penalty kill over the last few games has definitely done that. I think we could be a little bit better. We'd like to be better, but. You know, I definitely take a lot of pride in, in killing penalties and being a, a smart defensive player, that's yep. for sure. When you get to this level of hockey, everybody on the team was the superstar at yeah, some point for, yeah, exactly. in their past. And to hear JF talk about, you know, all the points that you racked up and everything, uh, what's more fun? It's got to be more fun scoring the scoring the big goals and everything like that, but there, it, there's a lot to the game. Yeah, I mean, everyone wants to be the guy, that, you know, the hero of the game that scores the winning goal, but... I mean, when you get older and you get, you know, the higher ranks, the more professional ranks, you know, you just – everyone takes pride in defense, you know, being a strong defensive player. I mean, it's always nice being called upon to be one of the guys to shut down, you know, the best players. That's just as rewarding as being, you know, sort of the go-to guys. So you just got to, you know, you got to sort of change your game a little bit. I mean, I'd obviously like to be scoring a little more, but if I can help out defensively and on the penalty kill, then 
if that's going to help us win, then, you know, I'm all for it. Is that the biggest transition coming out of junior is to learn that defensive side of the game? Because, uh, you know, and not to put him on the spot, but I think we see it a little bit with a kid like Sebastian Sylvester. Tremendous offensive upside, still learning the defensive side of the game. But was that the biggest transition you had last year in Gwinnett, learning uh, how to play in your own end? Yeah, for sure. I mean, we, you know, a lot of guys in junior, you know, like you said, you're the go-to guys. You're the, you know, the point producer. So it is a big transition coming to the professional ranks because there's a lot of other guys that were just like you in junior. So you definitely do have to learn the defensive side of the game. I mean, it's a, it's a very, very important side. So, I mean, you look at a guy like Sill, he is a tremendous, tremendous upside. And so he just got to learn a little bit more of the defensive side, and he's going to have a you know a great long career ahead of him. What was it like playing last year uh, just outside of Atlanta? It, it was good. I mean, we were like 45 minutes out, so you weren't too too in the big city, but it was nice. I mean, there's if you want to do something, you just take it in a car, drive down, and you know kill a day. I mean, people talk about California not being hockey country. That's not hockey country. <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's fair. From you'd be surprised. I mean, we you know they draw good crowds. I mean, people definitely su support the Gladiators out there. So it was a. Uh, it was nice to see that there was some uh, hockey support over in Atlanta. From a player's perspective, we saw some highlights uh, from, from the last couple of weeks, but what was Teddy Bear Toss like from a player's perspective, uh, seeing those beers rain down on you like that? That was uh, that was pretty impressive. I've been in, in a few back in a junior, but, I mean, nothing to that extent. I mean, that was that was pretty surreal, pretty cool to see, just all the support and, you know, how much the fans enjoy that game. I mean, it was it was just great to be a part of, and it was, uh, it was just great for everybody. Talk about your hometown. Yeah, what's PEI like? Yeah, I mean, you probably haven't heard of it. It's it's a small <laughs> island. I mean, 150,000 people. Um, there's, you know, we're just a, we're simple people. We're not, you know, everyone pretty much knows everybody there. It's a small, <laughs> small knit community, but it's it's not not too great in the winter. So I'm glad to be in the sun. <laughs> but uh, during the summer, it's definitely a spot to be. That's for sure. You know, I remember as a kid watching the PEI Senators playing. Yeah, years uh, ago. Yeah, were yeah, you? He's, he's old. Was that yeah. before you were born? How far ago was that? Well, that that might have been before I was born. Or, yeah, that was year, years and years ago. I remember hearing stories about them, but I never. They weren't around when I was there. They well, didn't last long. No. <laughs> <laughs> you just showed your age. I, I did. Oh, I, wow. I, well, I could, I've probably seen about seventy or eighty American Hockey League teams play. They they would just pop up all over yeah. the place in Canada and then down a couple of years later. But what's the town like? What's Charlottetown like? Charlottetown, it's like the main, it's the pro, like capital of uh, Prince Edward Island. There's about 30,000 30, people. It's where I'm from. Um, I mean, it's it's not even very big. It's the capital, but it's it's very small. I mean, it's just a nice suburb. The city's not very big, but, I mean, that's the way everyone likes it back home. It's just small, not too big, you know, not not too much traffic, too much stuff going on. So it's it's a great spot. It's just quiet. It's just, you know. How many uh, how many rinks? Quite a few rinks. You'd be surprised. Yeah. Thirty thousand people. Yeah. Fifteen thousand rinks. Yeah. Right. No, there's quite a few rinks. That's for sure. You know, hockey's definitely hockey's definitely the biggest sport there back home. So it's it's good. I'm I'm, I'm proud to be from Charlottetown, and I wouldn't want to be from anywhere else. That's was, for sure. What was the favorite NHL team growing up then? I honestly I didn't have one. I was sort of I mean I liked uh, the Dallas Stars, which is a bit odd, but that was just from a young age. And then as I get older, I just enjoy watching the game. I didn't didn't have a big one. Montreal and Toronto are huge back home. That's for sure. What do you Mike like to Madonna. do? Yeah. That's why. Yeah. Mike Madonna. Yeah. 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 <laughs> gotta get a big. I mean, number nine. You gotta pick. You gotta pick somebody. Right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, what do you like to do off the ice? We always like to ask the guys here on Unleashed. You know, when you get away from the rink and you know have some time to yourself, what do you like to do off the ice uh, to to kind of kill a day or, or to kill an off day? Uh, not too much. I mean, you know, your your body gets so run down. So a lot of us just like to just to play Xbox, play video games. I mean, take naps. Watch TV. I mean, it's not. It's not too too it's exciting. Rough life, it's, man. Yeah, it's pretty rough. So, <laughs> you know, it's good. We we all enjoy. It. We just you know go over to some other guy's place, hang out or something, watch a movie. What's your favorite Xbox game then? NHL. NHL is pretty big. Yeah. <laughs> so who do you? So who who are you? <laughs> Tell us. I uh, usually just pick random, and then we just sort of play against each other. It makes it a little more exciting. Any of you on the game? I don't uh, know. I th ooh. I think some of us might be like in There's our junior days. There's gotta be a couple. No? Yeah. Uh, I would think. NHL question. contracts, AHL contracts. Yeah, NHL ones should be there. Yeah. I know Bergie was last year. LB was. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's a good question. Yeah. I haven't picked up the new. Uh, How do you not know? You I, know I, 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 I know. I should have looked into it. I you haven't. Have right, the, come on. We're all in the 50s. Right, today, yeah. today, <laughs> today, I'm Joe. Yeah. Today, I'm Connor Jones. Let's actually, go. Let's go. Actually, you say that, but I remember, and this is dating back probably two, three years now. But I remember playing, you can play Major Junior now on, right. on NHL. They have Major Junior, they have a couple of yeah. European. Why they don't have ECHL yet, I don't know. But if we can get on that, that'd be awesome. Uh, <laughs> but anyways, I remember playing with 
the Everett Silver Tips because I always wanted to pick an American team in Major Juniors and take them to the Memorial Cup. Naturally. I remember Josh Winkwist being on oh, the, my top go. line left wing. So, nice. yeah, he was like a 50 average or whatever. He's a lot better now, I think. We talked with JF a little bit about it, but especially for a player as well, the Connors Booster Club does such a nice job here in Bakersfield. And a nice little event last night, the annual Christmas party. How was that uh, from your perspective? Yeah, that was honest. That was fantastic. I mean, these boosters treat us tremendously. I mean, we can't be more thankful or grateful to have such a wonderful booster club. So last night it was, uh, it was a great dinner. We had a, a great time, lots of laughs, and uh, we were you know, lucky enough to get some some stockings full of some gifts. So, I mean, it was just, it was tremendous and we were very thankful. Was there any uh, rookie singing or any uh, rookie hazing last night or anything? Yeah. Not, not hazing. Uh, don't Can't use that word. Sorry, yeah. rookie, um, yeah, you know. Yeah, well, no, the, the, <laughs> the rookies had to go up before a meal and just sing a little Christmas song. And then after they had to sing another one and they did, uh, they did pretty good for the uh, short notice. So I was pretty impressed. Did any of the French guys sing Frere Jaca? <laughs> no, no, no. Certain, no, they didn't, no. I was... I mean, that would be the go-to Christmas carol, no? I could sing for Jaca. Yeah. Can you sing it better than the French guys, though? Probably. I got to be able to sing better than Sylvester, no? <laughs> <laughs> it's too quiet. He's too quiet. <laughs> Speaking of Sylvester and company, Sylvester, Craig, Kremer, and I'm missing one for a pass, will be out at the Vons at the Marketplace from 5 to 7 today, so you can check them out in the community. Ring the bell. Jones Brothers are going to be collecting toys on Friday as well. The annual toy drive is Thursday, so... Plenty of guys out in the community here this week, even on the off days, even with four and five. That's one of the best things about but our team about being here in Conderstown as well. Well, Kurt, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. We can follow uh, Josh on. Curry Thank on Twitter you. as well, Josh Curry 19 uh, on Twitter. So yeah. give him a follow and uh, check out his stuff on, on Twitter. When we come back, uh, we'll have uh, Louis Amistoy, the guru of the Bakersfield Californian. Still in first. Still, uh, yeah. We'll, we'll come on and make some picks. I'm two and seven, but I'm. I'm going to upset somebody here this week because I'm picking a team I've never picked. That's next. Oh, God. On Condors Unleashed.